Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Virgo. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Virgo with a clear and concise message from you. Alright, so Virgo, it looks like um, you're trying to recover a relationship or recover you're trying to recover from maybe the breakup and the breakdown in this relationship but you keep communicating with this person and they keep giving you lies they keep feeding you lies um, and have truths and just not being honest with you it seems as if they are purposely keeping you confused or keeping you stuck keeping you stagnant keeping you in a place where you're in limbo but it says if you just take the leap of faith in a new direction, with a new development, you can actually have something or somebody new, a new opportunity that you will not have to chase. You will actually have something that, you know, you can grow, uh, you can grow from. Um, this could be a new business, a new person. This card specifically talks about a new sexual encounter. Maybe you guys will get going, you know, first thing before you actually, you know, get in a relationship, I don't know. Maybe you guys will work backwards. But it's all about newness, too. Also, it, it will be somebody more to your liking, more in your tribe, uh, someone like-minded, someone who wants commitment, um, someone who wants marriage, someone who wants marriage. And um, it will start off as a friendship, and then it will, it will turn into marriage. Someone who will bring you a lot of happiness. Maybe you can have a happy life. A happy family with maybe this will be an opportunity where you won't have to chase it in the the stage is set for happiness it's just about how you perform some of you need to really release this other person and stop keeping yourself stuck you need to learn the lesson the karmic lesson whatever it may be with the two and the eight of wands and move on because right now all you are doing is just a bunch of nothing that's going nowhere um you don't have a real plan for this relationship it's just that you want this person back because you love them you like them but you get them back and where's it going it's just that you have them back and this person kind of knows that and they're keeping you purposely stuck um in limbo about where the relationship is going but the cards want you to welcome the new because there is newness here for you um, newness on the horizon, um, your wildest dreams coming true. Um, if you're praying for new energy, new blood, new idea, it could come into you. Do know that um, you're stronger than you, you actually know you are. You can get through this, okay? And forgive yourself first, and then you can forgive others, okay? Because somebody could have you in a relationship um a plural relationship, a third party, or party, I don't know. They can have you in something that is not conducive to you guys um, being together for the long term. Um, some of you are really suffering with this energy, really making it hard for you to get out of bed. Um, because, um, yeah, it makes it hard for you to get out of bed. And at night when you're alone, these thoughts kind of... Uh, they attack you. There's a lot, some low energy here um, because you want the truth. You want clarity, but you aren't getting it about this relationship, about loving somebody that possibly doesn't love you or loving someone too much. Um, loving somebody that they have a plural love. They want to give to other people. They want to have you and other people or maybe you and the single life. Um, you thought that this would be a forever love, but it is not. And you're kind of disheartened at the fact that you have to, um, you, you got to change, shift course. And you regret this and you regret that. But you just need to go through the healing process and know that there's something so much better for you. If you just will believe that. I know at this time it's hard to believe it. Because you're still prompting this person for the truth. The Queen of Swords and the Eight of Wands. You want them to 
state their intentions and what they're doing and you might be a little obsessed and infatuated with having this person but once again they know it and they keep you purposely willingly stuck willingly on your side but the fullness of this relationship is the ten of swords this is what you're going to get you're going to get disappointment you're going to get hurt you're going to get collapse you're going to get exhaustion you're going to get you're going to be the victim you know all of that Save yourself, spare yourself, okay? Um, and move into that new energy that is um, the Ace of Pentacles, okay? Move into that new energy. Welcome the new. Yes, it's tough, it's rough, it's hard. But you have support either in a friend or a friend group or family. You have someone here who actually cares about the outcome. So that's good. Okay, Virgo, I know it was a tough reading, but if it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Also go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. Pay for your question. Receive the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Virgo. Take care.